How's it going folks? My name is Albert and I'm with Ballista Archery and today we are going to be doing a new experiment and we're going to be testing out a, uh, a new theory um, that I heard. Well, it's actually not a theory. One of my buddies actually started putting a third vein on his sting bolts and he claims that this stabilizes his bolts and he's able to shoot, you know, whatever broadhead he's shooting. Uh, as you guys know, our sting bolts only have two veins. So by nature, they're gonna have less st stabilization and less steering than a three vein bolt. So today we are going ahead and we're gonna test this theory. So I've gone ahead and I've added a third vein, a third vein to a handful of our sting bolts. So I have the 13 inch bolt and I have the 16 inch bolt as well. Um, and we're gonna be testing this with the annihilator broadhead and then the Ramcat Hydroshock. So what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, first we've got to sight in the bow, make sure that we're shooting straight. And what we're gonna do is we are going to shoot the uh, two vein bolt first and we're gonna see how it flies. We're gonna take a couple shots, do a little bit of slow-mo, um, just see if it's hitting the same spot consistently. I do only have one of these Annihilator broadheads because this is their prototype. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to like test the grouping or whatever, but we're just gonna see and track the flight path of the bolt. So hopefully we'll be able to catch it on camera. We're also gonna be testing the Ramcat Hydroshock broadhead. And you know, we're just gonna see how they fly with the two veins and then how they're gonna fly with the third vein. And what we're really gonna be tracking is once again, that flight path. Uh, and then just to test it some more, I have the 16 inch bolt because this is a longer bolt with the two veins. This might be uh, an issue for some of you guys that are shooting some different broadheads. So that's why today we are gonna be testing all of this. So stay tuned and uh, you know, we run these experiments that you don't have to and we also run these experiments uh, to learn more about, you know, what works, what doesn't work, product development, all that stuff. And then for you, the hunter, you can see this and implement it with your hunting setup. So let's just jump right in. We're gonna we're gonna be shooting uh, 20 yards, just downrange, and we're gonna start off with the annihilator broadhead. All right, so we're gonna start off with the regular sting bolt. This is the 13 inch. And we're gonna start off with the Annihilator broadhead. This is the Katana two blade. Um, so what we're gonna be tracking is the fly path. So what we're gonna do is really pay attention to the way this arrow flies. We're gonna take a few shots, get some slow-mo of it hopefully. And hopefully the camera is able to capture the flight path because this is flying pretty fast. All right, so we took a handful of shots with the just a typical sting bolt. And as we can see from the video, you know, we're we're hitting pretty consistently. The, if the flight path isn't horrible, it really is not. Um, except at the very end, I don't know if the camera catches it because it happens right before it hits the target, like maybe a couple feet before it hits the target. But right before it hits the target, the bolt kind of like kicks out or just kind of like has an abrupt, abrupt movement. And so I'm not sure why that happens. However, for the most part, the flight path isn't horrible, which is a great thing. However, I do think, um, or I think with that third vein, it will stabilize it better and it's not gonna cause that abrupt movement at the very end. So let's go ahead and we're gonna throw on the three vein bolt. Right here, as you can see, just a third vein right here. And I think this should stabilize it a little better and that should get rid of that abrupt little kick at the end. So let's take a few shots and see how it performs. All right, so we took a few more shots with this three veins right here, three vein bolt. 
And once again, the bolt is flying great. And I do want to say it is flying a lot better. I don't know if you can see in the video or not. Hopefully you can, but the flight path is definitely um, a lot more predictable. And the bolt, as I predicted, doesn't do that little jerk at the very end. It's hitting straight and it's not doing any funky business at the very end. So I'm assuming because I'm shooting at 20 yards, when it does that little kick at whatever distance, if you go past 25 yards, it's gonna affect the bolt a lot more. However, with this, because it doesn't do this kick, I'm sure that this bolt is just gonna fly a lot more consistently at further distances. Um, however, we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna test this with the 16 inch bolt because the 16 inch bolt is bigger, longer, um, so that definitely affects the flight trajectory of the bolt. So what we're gonna do is we're going to sight in the 16 inch bolts and we're gonna uh, continue the experiment. And then what I'm gonna do is actually change out the annihilator with a different broadhead uh, just to see if that does any sort of effect because I do know these broadheads are flying great. So let's go ahead, get sighted in with the 16 inch bolt and then we're gonna continue the experiment. All right, so we got it sighted in. Let's take a few shots. Zoom y'all in. Y'all should be able to see that flight path. Three, two, one. so we take a few more shots again with this one and once again we're getting pretty much the same results as we were getting with the 13 inch vein with the two uh two veins on there it's flying consistent it's flying good it's not flying great however it's definitely flying consistently um and once again it's consistently just doing just a little just a little swirl at the very end honestly i would still trust this to go hunting however like I said, if you start going past 20, 25 yards and you want to make sure you have great stability, that's when I would start messing around and throwing on these third veins. So let's go ahead and put that third vein on this uh, bolt. We're gonna use the one with the three veins and we're gonna see if that changes it. And I'm sure it will because it's uh, very, pretty much this shoots the same as the 13 inch bolt. So let's go ahead and do that. Just take these off, boom, bada, boom. Right here, we are using a different vein, but I don't think it really has too much of an effect. Um, so yeah, let's see if it stabilizes a little better. And uh, you know the drill, a few more shots and we're gonna recap. Oh, we're gonna take a few more shots with some other broadheads. But anyways, let's keep going. So. Load this bolt in. As you can see, it just sits right in there, right before it hits that tongue. Right there. Just like that. So, I'm gonna take, it might be a little off because it does affect where it hits. But. So just a little to the left. However, I can definitely see an improvement already. It's not a huge improvement. However, it is an improvement. So, I'm gonna kick it to the right a bit. And let's take some shots and uh, just review the footage. Once again, the bolt is flying great. It's flying straight. It's not doing any kicking at the very end. So, I can confirm adding a third vein will definitely uh, stabilize your bolt and even increase your accuracy downrange. However, we're using this one broadhead, this very awesome, unique little broadhead. However, what happens if we throw on a bigger broadhead that has more surface area and that has three, uh, three blades sticking out of it? Um, because like I said, everyone has their own preference. Everyone prefers their own broadhead. And you know, all these broadheads are great. You know, in this day and age, I believe that all these broadheads, they're all great. 
Um, so, and everyone has their own preference. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add this broadhead just to switch it up, just to see if it has, you know, if it stabilizes just as well, or if there's, um, you know, if it doesn't, that's why we're doing this test. So let's take a few shots with this ram cap and um, let's let her rip. All right, so I took a couple shots. We don't need to take a bunch of shots. It's shooting great with the third vein shooting straight. Has zero problem stabilizing that broadhead. What about the two vein 16 inch bolt? Now this I'm a little more skeptical about just because the two veins, bigger broadhead up front. Um, so I guess we'll see. So 30 yards, zoom y'all in. Let's, uh, let's see how this performs. All right, so we shot that hydro flask or hydro shock a couple more times, and I was very pleasantly surprised how well it flew with the two veins. Um, however, to summarize this whole experiment, and from what I'm able to tell from doing this, is that adding this third top vein definitely increases that stability. Um, and downrange, I'm sure it will increase that accuracy as well. These bolts do fly pretty good with just the two veins. However, like I mentioned earlier, uh, some of you folks that shoot your specific broadheads have struggled um, tuning it or whatever. And as you can see, this crossbow wasn't tuned for this or anything like that. These bolts aren't tuned, they're straight out of the box. All I did was slap this third vein on there and they're flying great. I also wanted to test two separate broadheads, fixed blade broadheads, to show you guys that these bolts are flying good and straight. I know a lot of folks get a little worried about shooting these or they shoot a couple times and they're like, oh, it's not flying straight. Guys, if you're struggling uh, to get a consistent flight path and a good stabilization, just add this third vein on the back. All you do is get some fletching glue, get a fletching, uh, get a vein, put it on there, make sure it's on there straight, and it's that simple. So as you can see, this vein isn't even on there super super straight i don't know if you can see that or not it's a little cockeyed just because i just hand glued it but just that on its own is able to stabilize the bolt um, that much more so there you go guys i hope you guys found this video educational and helpful because i will definitely be adding a third vein to all my hunting bolts just to really ensure maximum stability and you know just a great flight path so there you go folks i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, comment them down below. And I think I'm gonna do a test soon where I'm gonna test the five most popular broadheads, um, crossbow broadheads, and we're gonna see what works and what doesn't work. So like I said, guys, stay tuned and uh, I'll see y'all next time.